Welcome to the J Who channel. That's right. And a special hello, a special thank you to all 63 who have decided to join the Who Tang Clan. That's right. I've come up with a cool nickname for all my subscribers. So to you 63 who have taken all that time and all that hard work to hit the subscribe button, you are now part of the Who Tang Clan because the Who is where it's at. Today, what we're gonna be working on is a special project. I can't really say too much about it because again, this is a collab with Etog, Ed, the old tech guy. And we'll have a link to show you the project that I'm working on and how he's going to use it because I think you're really gonna like it. Look at this heavy duty chunk of metal, baby. We had this especially made for this project. These are individual sockets that have been welded to a piece of steel angle iron. So what you're gonna see me do is clean it up a little bit, straighten out the edges and uh, make it look really nice. And other than that, I can't tell you too much more about it, but I hope you enjoy the video and I hope I can teach you some tips on how to clean bare metal and get it to look really nice. Although this rustic look is pretty nice too, but we're gonna clean it up so it can look nice and fancy for Ed the old tech guy. All right guys, enjoy the video. And what Jay Handy has to do is figure out how to square this edge. Now we can use the corner and we can use a straight edge I have a little bit of problem on this side, it's not gonna fit. So what I'm gonna use next is a drywall t square The straight edge part back here, the long side. And it's kind of a goofy, heavy piece. But once I get that, then I'll make my mark. And this line, connects with the line down there. So I got my straight line, so I'm gonna have to grind all that down. When we come on the other side, and we basically do the same thing. With this application, this grinding wheel is too big to have the guard. So the guard has to come off. What does that mean? That means we have to be super careful when operating this grinder. We're gonna use that grinder and we're gonna follow that line and square that off, right? Then we'll come around the side. I know it's a little dark, but that line there. We wanna be very careful. If you've been with me since the beginning, you know what happened here. Right? So, what did we learn? Number one, wear gloves. Okay? That's number one. Number two, no sandals. Number three, safety glasses or regular glasses. I will find my safety glasses in a second and I'll put those on. Uh, the other thing we want to remember, make sure we have two hands on the wheel, take our time, be easy, and never, ever, ever, ever let the sparks point at the camera because you can damage your phone or camera. All right, let's watch the sparks fly. We got the cutting wheel, not the grinding. We'll use this to finish. And I'll just follow that mark that I made. I grinded down the surface, cleaned it up first so I could see my mark. Now we'll do it. Got the handle on. Got the guard on, safety first. So the reason why I'm moving it back and forth is I don't want to get stuck in one place and then have the grinder fall through. So if we make a line, we'll kind of make an even cut and we'll keep that straight line. And you'll see that straight line uh, when we're done. 
about an eighth of an inch done with the cut. Now I'll just place it where it's firm and I'll finish that cut, leave that overhanging the table. Okay, so we're through the one side of the angle iron. Now I can follow the line on that side and I've already started my cut. So that should be nice and square. So I'll just figure how to position it. Once I figure how to position it, then I'll know I'll get a nice true cut. Let's try that way. There's our cut. A little, just a little rough around the edges, but nothing we can't fix. Man, that looks good. Let's hit it with the grinder and we're done. Hope you guys enjoyed the sparks. Okay, so I am pleasantly surprised the way this has turned out. I think I missed it just by a little bit but we can correct that with the grinder. I did have to change the wheel. That, I, I, that was my mistake. Well, it really wasn't a mistake. I used the grinder first, the grinding wheel first. Yeah, see, that's a little bit off. So I might just take a little bit off over on that left side where it says wall board. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I did have to change to a cutting wheel. See how thin that is? So I cut off because it was too much to grind, but maybe that little slight imperfection there, right here, we'll just change it back to the grinding wheel and just grind that. She's just a little bit off. There's actually a dip in it. If you look over by the three inch mark, just at the top part of the square, there's like a dip there. So we'll definitely fix that. But other than that, I think it came out good. Take our square. Yeah, that definitely came out better. As you can see, it's pretty level there. Yeah, that looks really good. So I'm good on this side with the, with the square, but the other side. Now I'll change the wheel to a grinder, but I did cut it off with the cutting wheel. Uh, but just to go over the things and tools that we used real quick, uh, I did use, the grinder with the uh, abrasive wheel. The guard came off, of course. Uh, we did that to smooth out the edges and to level it out a little bit. Um, then, as uh, back in the day, we used to call these things lollipops. <laughs> and I'll show you uh, where the screw, where the bolts are gonna go into that metal. I use this as the cone shape, it's a sander. Let's see, where's the camera? As you can see, it wore out a little bit, and uh, we use this to make sure that we deburred the holes. And then after that, we use this little fancy little wire brush to kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, ended up using uh, my DeWalt, as you can see, real nice and handy. This is the hammer drill, but also has the drill. Um, I like using this because you plug it in electric and uh, you get unlimited power well until you blow a fuse or something uh, and last step that I did tonight it's getting uh, kind of late so uh, we used flat black primer and I just did the bottom uh, so tomorrow I'll sand everything on the top or grind it or whatever uh, all right guys it's 10 o'clock I gotta go to work tomorrow Again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Peace.